Hey guys, Wade here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about Gemini Heroes Reborn. Anyone remember the TV show Heroes? I remember watching the first season, and after that I pretty much stopped watching. The reviews for season 2 were just awful, and I didn't want to put myself through the pain. In 2015 we got Heroes Reborn, which I do plan on watching very soon because I heard that was actually pretty good. Well, in 2016 we got a little video game for PS4 called Heroes Gemini Reborn, that was inspired by the TV show of the same name. However, this is indeed a standalone story. This is a first person action game where you play as Cassandra, who is investigating an old mysterious shutdown facility while simultaneously garnering cool and unique powers such as telekinesis and time travel. This makes for a somewhat unique gameplay experience as you work to uncover the various mysteries. While this is a cool concept on paper, the game falls short of its potential. It took me about 5 hours to complete it and by that time I was sick and tired of the gameplay loop and same old scenery. The mechanics are just janky. As a matter of fact, that's a good word to describe the entire game. Janky. It certainly lives up to its budget approach and moniker. Don't expect anything more than that and then you may not be disappointed. The story is decent enough, but it's not going to blow your mind. Some of the writing here is pretty terrible though, and when you have bad voice actors it only makes things worse. Some of the dialogue and delivery here is unintentionally hilarious and even sometimes robotic. You're not supposed to be here. I saw you before. With those two doctors. You're not one of them, and you're not one of us either. I met the others. What was done to them? I can't believe they thought some of this was okay. Combat is pretty straightforward as you use your unique powers to defeat enemies. This along with some puzzle solving and stealth and that's pretty much the game. It's five hours of that and then you're done. If you're a trophy aficionado like myself, it may take you a little bit longer. This leads me into the trophies. Gemini Heroes Reborn is widely known to be an easy platinum. It does have a 72% platinum rate which is quite high. With a guide this game will be a walk in the park. But, the frustration will come when you try to get the Throw All The Things trophy, which requires you to throw 1,000 objects. Now you would think that this would be automatically accomplished across your playthrough, but no. I probably spent 30 extra minutes just trying to finish this one off, and it was definitely the most annoying and frustrating trophy to earn. But, aside from that, it is an easy platinum all the same. Well, that's about it. If you're a fan of Heroes, I say pick it up and give it a shot. It doesn't directly relate to any other hero stories, but it's fine on its own. It's nothing special, but it's also not trash. As a non-Heroes fan, you won't find much substance here. Otherwise, as a standalone video game, it's below average and probably not worth playing unless you're a fan of the series. I didn't have much fun playing it, and honestly, I'm glad it's over. IGN gave this a 6.4 when it came out, and that seems very generous to me. You may be better off just watching the TV shows. At least they have Hayden Panettiere and Zachary Levi. Well guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Gemini Heroes Born. Have you played it? Have you ever heard of it? Probably not, but I still want to know your opinion. So be sure to hit the subscribe button below if you're enjoying my content, and ring the bell to be notified for future videos. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.